am going into Macy's to pick up some things and mostly though to see um, Katie, my friend Katie that I talk about on the vlog from time to time, actually works in the women's shoe department at Macy's at North Star Mall. If you ever need some awesome shoes, she'll be happy to help you, I'm sure. She's going to kill me now. But um, Shane needs some jeans, new Sperry's, and a white button-down shirt for a, an event he's going to Saturday night. And um, I am going to look at some makeup because it's on sale. And, you know, I always need more makeup. So, how can I beep coming in? That's crazy. Oh well, I'll see you later. All right, I tried on some Sperry's for me. They're just not me. I want to like them, but they don't look right on my feet. And now I'm trying to find the Ralph Lauren section for boys. I see it for women, for Shane. Um, I spent 15 minutes in the makeup department. I swatched every concealer that Estee Lauder had. Same thing at the Clarence counter. I mean, I was there a good 10 to 15 minutes. Not one person walked up to me and asked me if I could I needed some help. It's just really annoying. It's the one thing I hate about Macy's. Anyway, I think I'm gonna have to ask for help. I am sitting here in front of Home Depot waiting for someone to bring out the bags of playground sand and no, I think you need help I'm, oh thank you sir I'm just waiting for someone to bring oh, okay, out okay, stuff okay. thank you so much some people are so nice the people in Home Depot not so much anyway I'm supposed to be they're supposed to bring out the um, four bags of salt and four bags of playground sand playground sand is for Michael's toy in the backyard the putting green the Salt is for our water softener. Anyway, so I'm creating a traffic jam. I asked some, they go, I rang up and the, the cashier turned to the manager and said, who's here, who's here today to help with loading? And the guy goes, I don't know. That was it, that was his response. So we'll see how this goes. It's definitely a Monday kind of day today. First Macy's, now Home Depot. I have to hit the grocery store next. Let's hope a little better customer service there. Hey guys, I'm back from running all my errands. I picked up play sand for the sand trap. I picked up water softener salt for the water softener. I went grocery shopping. I went to Macy's. I got Shane a button down shirt for his event. I didn't get him jeans or the shoes because we didn't know his sizes. Um, I have everything laid out for dinner and now it is time to release the hounds. Hello, hounds. Hi, Riggles. You first. You ready to come out? Hello. This is, there's your tail and there's Miss Mimi. Hello, girly. Okay, guys, let's go outside. Let's go, Westies, outside. I love watching them with their little tushies waggling. Okay, go, 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 go. No, we're detouring. Come on. Hey, Buzz. Come on, let's go. Wrigley's outside. Outside. Everybody go out. Do your thing out there. Go, 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 go. Go. All right, I have to tell you about my shoes. So remember those. Go. All the way. Not you, Boz. You just went. Okay. So remember those shoes that I bought for the conference, the cork wedges from Nordstrom? I ended up not wearing them at the conference, but I wore them today to run my errands, and oh my god, my feet were killing me. Apparently Nordstrom will take them back. Um, probably just want to store credit. I'm sure I can find another pair of shoes that I want in Nordstrom. But I changed into my old standbys. Here they are. My Franco Sardo shoes. And the reason I'm showing you them is because I think they're re-released for this season. And they come in this like nubuck color and uh, kind of a denim suede. And then I think sort of a coral color. I'll try to link them if I can find them online, but I have seen them at DSW. So I think they might be in stores again. So, they're my most worn shoes last year, and I'm wearing them again this season because they are really, really comfortable. And, um, I'm watching a dog poop. Okay then, I'm going to go relax for like 15 minutes, chill out, and then uh, I'm going to start prepping dinner. My friend Katie ran me over, dropped off some makeup that I had, um, had her buy for me because she got like, 
37% off. It's not quite 40% because she works at Macy's and they were having, anyway. So <laughs> I went by there today and kind of perused check things out and gave her a little shopping list. And then um, I feel like she's not my drug dealer, but my makeup dealer. Like she comes to the door and I hand her some cash and she hands me makeup because it's my addiction. So anyway, here's what I got. And I hope that it works out well. Um, I got a lot of Estee Lauder. Haven't used Estee Lauder in a really long time, but the Estee Lauder Double Wear All Day Glow BB Cream. It has SPF 30 and I got it in the 2.0 intensity because I'm hoping to use it in the summer when I'm a little more not white. <laughs> I don't want to say tan, but not white. So it's a little tube. And then I saw Michelle have this, Michelle 1218, and it's a double wear pencil. And um, I'm really a double wear fan, if you haven't noticed. And she had it, this pencil, Michelle used it as an highlighter in the inner corner. It's gorgeous. It's in the shade Pearl. And I guess I could swatch it. Can you see it gleam? I mean, it's very dim in here, but it's gleaming. So... There's that. Is my ring cool? It's from Kendra Scott. Okay. And then um, lastly, I'm not going to take this out, but another Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Concealer, which you know I love, and I just got in the next shade up, anticipating that I will be um, more tan than I currently am. And then I've been dying for this. In fact, let us try it right now. It's the new Clarins. You know if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I love the Instant Light Lip Perfector, the, the gloss. Well, this is the balm. And my favorite, I wanted the 05, but apparently they don't have it in store. So this is the 01, which is just basic pink. And I'm going to use the viewfinder. Oh, it smells as good as the gloss. It's not like a very, you know, it's, it's like a basic gloss balm. It's just very moisturizing on the lips. It feels really nice. I can't really tell... That really did anything for me. Um, but my only concern is that in the, okay, lighting's bad. My only concern is that in the summer, if I keep this in my purse, it will melt because it's very, it feels like it's very easily melted. But So that was my little shopping trip. It was 60 bucks, so not horrible. And um, thank you, Katie, for running me my, my fix. Yay. Hey guys, I am about to get dinner started. I bought this chicken, check this out. Um, I always kind of dismiss the chicken at the actual butcher counter because I think it's going to be more expensive, but they're always having specials and um, I got this, these chicken breasts are marinated in sun-dried tomato and olive oil and when I factored in how much it would have cost me to do all that, same price and it's already done. I hate cutting up chicken. I like to butterfly them so they're thinner and so I got my tanning gloves, the gloves I use, the disposable gloves I use for tanning and I'm going to do this because it's just... I hate raw chicken, it's disgusting, but it needs to be done. So I'm gonna get to cooking, just a quick little tip. And then I have my tomatoes right there, cut up. I will attach the recipe. Um, I've made it before. If you've watched my vlogs, you've seen me do this 100 times. I saute tomatoes and, and olive oil and garlic and then smash them with a potato mash and basically make that the sauce and toss it with pasta and chopped up in little bits, fresh mozzarella, it all melts together. A little basil, it's very yummy. I'll link that recipe below. It's a summer staple, but I thought I'd add a little meat and just a quick Italian chopped salad that's already prepackaged from the grocery store, and that is a dinner. So, let's get to cooking. A little pre-dinner golf maintenance. Some people have little zen gardens to rake. Remember those? Like in the late 90s, a little, or maybe it was the early 2000s, a little sand box that you could rake on your desk. Michael has a big one. You having fun? He's how he's coming. If we need more, I could always go get more. Ten? So six more. Okay. Normally film us eating, but so rarely are all four of us at the table at the same time in the house. I just want to document that we are there's the sun-dried tomato chicken. Say hi everybody. And there we go. We are almost all four of us at the table. So I'm gonna go get my plate full and join them.